Come on and give him glory this morning, this afternoon. Hallelujah. We give you the glory. We give you the honor, Father. Hallelujah. We give you the praise this afternoon. Hallelujah. We magnify your name. Come on, let's flood this call with worship. We exalt you this afternoon, Father. We magnify you this afternoon, Father. We lift you up this afternoon, Father. Hallelujah, you are the great I am this afternoon, Father. We bless your name this afternoon, Jesus. We lift you up this afternoon, God. Come on. Hallelujah. You are good, God. You are good, God. Hallelujah. You are good, God. We bless your name this afternoon. You are good, God. Hallelujah. We magnify your name this afternoon. Regardless of what is going on, you are good, God. And we exalt you. We exalt you this afternoon. Come on, out of our spirit, Father. We exalt you this afternoon hallelujah out of our spirit oh god we will bless you lord and your praise shall continually be in our mouth this afternoon out of our spirit oh god we will lift you up god you are great come on and greatly to be praised come on i feel worship in here you are great and greatly to be praised we lift you up god hallelujah not for what you've done but for who you are to us father if you never do another thing, oh God, we will bless you. If you never do another thing, God, we will worship you. If you never do another thing, God, we will maintain our position. Hallelujah. If you never do another thing, God, we'll be consistent. Hallelujah. We magnify you. Come on. We glorify you. Our heart cries out to you. Oh, Abba Father, our heart cries out to you this afternoon. Abba Father, hallelujah, you are our Father. You are our Daddy, yes, God. You are our Father. You are our Protector, oh God. Hallelujah, you are our covering. Hallelujah, you cover us. You cover us, Father, and we bless you. We bless you, oh God. We thank you for your covering this afternoon, God. How you cover and keep us, oh God. Hallelujah. Through danger seen and unseen. How you cover us, oh God. Hallelujah. How you put a hedge of protection around your people. How you put a hedge of protection around your chosen. I thank you this afternoon that we are covered. Oh, We are covered. Oh, We are covered this afternoon. Uh, hallelujah. Covered from the slander of the enemy. Uh, covered from the plots of the enemy. Uh, covered from the plans of the enemy. Uh, hallelujah. We thank you for divine covering this afternoon, God. Uh, that you cover your people. Oh, uh, that even though the weapon uh, hallelujah will form, it will not prosper. Uh, I thank you right now for every formed weapon failing. Uh, I thank you that every weapon that has formed against the people of God uh, is failing even now that it will be faulty. Uh, I thank you God that even as weapons uh, are being launched against your people uh, as weapons oh, uh, of the demonic are being launched and formed against your people uh, that they are failing even now. Oh, I thank you now God that they're failing now. Uh, hallelujah. That the whispers of the wicked oh, are coming to an end. God, I thank you uh, that the whispers of the wicked, oh God, uh, hallelujah, are failing now. Uh, I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, that you are covering. Hallelujah, you're covering your people. Oh, Hallelujah, those that are minding their business, Father. Hallelujah, and just enjoying you, Father. Hallelujah, I thank you that 
you are covering them, hallelujah, from the slander of the enemy, that you are covering them, Father, hallelujah, from the words, curses of the wicked, oh God, even those that are in ministry, Father, oh Conancia, hallelujah, and they are just going on about their ministry, Father, even those that come to conspire, they, they, they gather and conspire to, to, to kill the, the, the reputation of ministries, oh God, and kill Hallelujah. The purity of the ministry, God. I thank you, oh God, that their lips are see under the Bohosia. That every tongue that's risen up against your people shall be condemned in this season. I thank you now, Father, for what you what you have brewing right now for the people of God. Hallelujah. I thank you that in this season, oh God, that you are positioning us. I hear you say, come on, so conan I thank you that in this season, hallelujah. Hallelujah, you are positioning us. Hallelujah, positioning us for our next year. I thank you now, God, that even the things that you have put in our spirits, oh God, that we would follow what you have told us to do and not be distracted by demonic warfare. I thank you now in the name of Jesus that you are giving us the strength to walk in focus. That you're giving us the strength to walk and focus, oh God. Even as we are on this consecration, Father. Even as we are on this consecration, fasting and praying. I thank you now, God, that you're centering us. That you're centering our minds, Father. Yes, Lord. That you're centering our spirits, oh God. That you're centering our focus, oh God. On you and the things of you, Father. In the name of Jesus, I thank you now, God. God, for divine clarity during this fast, oh God, that you're giving us clarity and you would begin to unfold, hallelujah, to us ahead of time, in advance, what you have planned for next year, God, that you would begin to unfold, oh God, that you would begin to unfold unto us, oh God, hallelujah, the plans and the strategies that you have for us, oh God, hallelujah, I thank you for the unfolding, Father, hallelujah, that you're causing our minds to come into full focus, hallelujah, on you and what you have us to accomplish, the assignments that are on our names, the, the assignments, oh God, that we have been stamped with, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you would cause us to bring our minds under subjection in this season, in the name of Jesus, that our minds would come under subjection, that we would not be focused on a bunch of other things, Hallelujah. Because even in this season, as you are preparing us for greater, hallelujah, the enemy is going to begin to up his attacks. Hallelujah. And begin to up his mental torment and try to torment your mind and try to make you, hallelujah, give attention to things in your mind. Hallelujah. That do not need to have attention. So I thank you now, Father, in the name of Jesus, that we will not be distracted. For there are time stamps on things that you would have us to do. Uh, hallelujah. Leading up to 2020. Uh, that there are time stamps. Hallelujah. Uh, that there are windows open for us to accomplish uh, what you have told us to accomplish, Father. Uh, so in the name of Jesus, I thank you uh, for giving us the strength to bring our minds under authority of you, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, to take authority uh, over our minds, oh God, and focus it on you, Lord. Uh, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, for bringing our, for helping us to bring our minds under. I thank you, O oh God. I bind demonic whispers this afternoon. I thank you right now. I bind demonic whispers right now. Whispers into your ear that the enemy would begin to speak to you. I thank you now, God, that it's canceled, that it's cut, that the voice of the enemy is silenced even now. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you are giving us the strength, Father, to resist the devil. Your word declares resist the devil and he will flee. Hoshana Mancia.
Your word declares that if we resist, oh, if we resist him, he will flee. Oh, if we resist him, this is your word. If we resist him, he will flee. I hear the Lord say, resist him. Hallelujah. When he begins to speak to your mind, begin to resist the urge to give attention to the sound and the voice of the enemy. Resist him. And he will flee. Begin to resist even the demonic activity. Don't even give attention to discuss it. But the Bible says, resist him. And he will flee. You don't resist the enemy when you give him attention. You don't resist the enemy when you talk about him. You don't resist the enemy when you have conversations about it. You don't resist the enemy when you begin to cry over hypotheticals. The word of God declares resist him and he will flee. So we resist the enemy. We resist the enemy. We resist the enemy. We resist the enemy. We resist the enemy this afternoon. Thoughts of cancer. We resist the enemy. Thoughts of incurable disease. We resist the enemy. Thoughts of MS. We resist the enemy. Thoughts of HIV from a past season. We resist the enemy. Thoughts of cervical cancer. We resist the enemy. Hallelujah. We resist the enemy. Thoughts, hallelujah, of, of diabetes from past disobedience. We resist the enemy. In the name of Jesus, we resist him because with a new obedience comes a new body. So don't you live in condemnation we resist the Bible declares that Satan is the accuser of the brethren that voice that comes to accuse you of your past season and calls you to live where you once were in your mind we rebuke the accuser of the brethren in the name of Jesus we, we rebuke the accuser in the name of Jesus, we rebuke him. In the name of Jesus, the, we rebuke the accuser of the brethren. Hallelujah. The enemy desires for you to live in condemnation. The enemy desires. He desires you to live in condemnation. He desires you to live in the place that God delivered you from in your mind. Even though you are not physically there, it is the, uh, it is the, um, it is the, the, the desire of the enemy to cause you, even though you've been pulled out to live there mentally. It is the intention of the enemy to cause you to live in a place that God picked you up and pulled you out of in your mind with hypotheticals and saying, well, what if this and what if that the devil is a liar? He is an accuser of the brethren. We thank you now, Father, for freedom in Christ. We thank you for freedom in Christ. That there is freedom in Christ. I don't care what 
what you were in, what God pulled you out of. Uh, once you are in Christ, there is freedom in Christ. So we thank you uh, for the freedom of God. Oh, uh, we thank you for the freedom of God. Uh, we bind the mindset this afternoon uh, of I did it, so I have to reap those consequences. Uh, the devil is a liar. Oh, God is a deliverer. God is a healer. God is a deliverer. God is a healer. And when you are delivered, the enemy no longer has legal right to you. Hallelujah. But you have access to healing, deliverance, and freedom. So we thank you now, Father, in the name of Jesus for deliverance, healing, and freedom. I thank you that every person dealing with sickness in their body, or Shanda Rabahosaya, from a previous season and even a current season, I thank you now, God, in the name of Jesus, for your healing power, for your deliverance power, for your restoration power. I thank you now, Father, in the name of Jesus, that you are wiping away, yes, God, shame, O Shanda Namansia. I thank you that shame uh, is being wiped away even now uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I thank you that shame, oh, excuse me. Can y'all hear me on here? Okay. I thank you that shame is being wiped away. Oh, Shanda Rabasianda, because the devil's trying to mess with my phone. I thank you that shame is being wiped away. That you will not walk into 2020 carrying shame. Oh, Shanda Rabasia. The shame of the past. The shame of your, your failures. The shame of what you are involved in. I thank you now, God, in the name of Jesus, that shame is being wiped away. That you no longer have to be ashamed. Hallelujah. But that is being washed away by the blood of the Lamb. I thank you that is being washed away. Hallelujah. The shame is being washed away. Things that you were involved in. Hallelujah. That you knew that you had no business being involved in. Hallelujah. But you couldn't seem to get out of it. I thank you now, God, in the name of Jesus, that the shame of that uh, is being wiped and washed away. Uh, and that 2020 marks a new season and a new day of freedom uh, for the people of God. Uh, glory to God. I thank you now, God. Uh, hallelujah for a uh, 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 end of the year, fourth quarter healing. Uh, I thank you that as we fast and consecrate, uh, hallelujah, that those that fast and consecrate with us will begin to uh, see testimonies, hallelujah, uh, of healing testimonies, uh, of deliverance testimonies, oh God, uh, of how you brought them over. Testimonies, Father, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, hallelujah, of reverse diagnoses, testimonies, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I thank you for your healing power. Oh God, you are a healer. You are a healer, Father. You are a healer, Jesus. You are a healer. You are a healer. And we thank you, God, for your healing power. We thank you for your healing power, Hoshana. We thank you for your healing power. I just saw this word flash in front of my face. And it moved very slowly across almost like a like like a um like when you have a video and stuff is sliding across the screen with words. But I saw the word slide across my screen, revival. Oh radiasia. I saw the word revival. I saw the word revival. I saw the word revival. Revival means two things. It has several definitions. Hallelujah. But I just had to make sure I was correct. Revival means first, a restoration to bodily or mental vigor. That's the first thing. A restoration to bodily or mental vigor. 
And then the second definition is an, imp an improvement in the condition or strength of something. Oh my God. Oh, shout up, Asiya. Hallelujah. The Lord speaks to the people of God and says, Revival is coming. Oh, Revival is coming, restoration to bodily and mental vigor and an improvement in the condition or strength of something. The Lord says that I'm getting ready to improve the condition. Hallelujah, that you have been living in the condition. Hallelujah, that you have been stuck in. Some of us have been in conditions. Hallelujah, that we have not particularly cared for. The Lord says that I'm about to improve the condition of what you've been in. Oh, Shandara Basia. And the strength, oh, the strength of it, oh, so we thank you now, God, for the condition, hallelujah, being improved, oh, and we thank you for the strength that's being released, revival is coming for 2020, the Lord says, oh, revival, 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 an improvement, the Lord says. Revival, I'm gonna tell you another definition. I'm not trying to teach today in prayer. But the Lord just hit me with this. An improvement in the condition or strength of something. Hallelujah, a restoration to bodily or mental vigor. And then the third one says, a reawakening of religious fervor. That the word fervor means passion, an intense or passionate feeling. My God, right here. Some of the conditions that we have been in, Hoshana Masia has messed with our passion, that requires a level of honesty. There are some levels of warfare that can mess with your passion. There are some levels of warfare oh, that can take you to a place where your passion begins to decrease because you're under Hoshana oh, Namasia. You're under such warfare, Hoshata oh, Basia. You're under such warfare, Erabasia. But the Lord says that there's going to be a reawakening, Hoshana oh, Namasia. A reawakening, the word reawaken means to emerge again. There's about to be a reemergence. That place that you used to, that place where you, you really felt strong in the things of God and you really, hallelujah, felt, felt passionate and felt like, like you wanted to, you know, there was a time where some of us really desired to go to church. If I could just be real, y'all know I'm not that the the churchy type of prophet but i'm very real about this thing there is a level of warfare that will make you not even want to go to church there's a level of warfare that will make you not even want to be active there is a level of warfare that will make you want to sit yourself down but the lord says in 2020 there's getting ready to be a reawakening a reawakening means to emerge again a reawakening hallelujah of passion that means that that your passion is going to emerge again some of you have been saying god what is wrong with me i just can't get with it i don't feel it oh and the lord says that that's because of what you've gone through but there's about to be a reawakening it, what the passion that you once had is about to emerge again the passion that on fire feeling when you first got saved and when you first came to know God and when you first begin to dig out the things of God that passion that was there that was lost and begin to slowly seep out through warfare the Lord says there's about to be a re-emergence with that that it's about to emerge again 
and that you're going to be stronger on the other side. Oh, when we cross over from 19 to 20, there's a strength that's going to accompany you. Hallelujah. That when you go to the other side, there's fresh strength. Oh, There's fresh passion. There's fresh oil. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Fresh. Oh, shout out about see under the Mahosaya. Fresh. Right as I was praying, I saw the word revival. Revival is not only coming to the church, but revival is coming to America. There's about to be an emergence Hallelujah of prophets or shana of voice mouth voice pieces uh, mouthpieces excuse me voices for the kingdom that's getting ready to come out of the pew uh, into the world uh, in this next coming season it's not going to be a recycling of the same people uh, but I see revival breaking out in the world uh, and even what you see with Kanye is just the beginning of it uh, there's a about to be an enlightenment. There's about to be an enlightenment. Hallelujah. In the world, in the marketplace. In the world. Hallelujah. I see revival breaking out on the streets. I see revival in the projects. I see revival in parks. I see I see it going back to the days when Jesus had crowds around him and he began to preach to the masses he began to preach to the crowds some of y'all chasing positions that's not where it's at you need to be chasing the anointing you need to be chasing the power of God you need to be going after Oh, come on, seek ye under the Mahosaya. Hallelujah. 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 You need to be going after God in this season. Oh, Shadabasia, because revival is coming. Oh, Konansia. Revival is coming. Oh, Shatam Dandando Sandaban Soya. Revival is coming. Oh, Shikananamandio Sia. Arabasia, revival is coming. He under the bosia outside of the church. Oh, mandio kora danso komansia. Revival is coming. Oh, shanda rabandi asiki under the bosia. Revival. Oh, shata I feel this thing in my spirit. Oh, shanda rabasia. Revival is coming to the strip club. Oh, korandi asi under the bosia. Revival is coming to the entertainment business. Era rabasia. He's raising up marketplace profits. Revival is coming. Oh, shaya into the school system oh shanda revival is coming it's coming to corporate america oh shanda rabasia war is coming but revival is coming as well oh shanda mansia Hallelujah. The day of tradition is done. Somebody's not going to like that. The day of traditionalism is done. There's about to be an outbreak. Oh, Shatabansia in the world. Oh, Shandidio Siki on the Ramandia. There's about to be an outbreak. Oh, Koratamansia. There's about to be an outbreak in the world. There's about to be an outbreak. 
Yay, glory. And so our prayer this afternoon is use me, God. Use me in this outbreak of revival. Use me, Father. In the name of Jesus, in this outbreak of revival, use me, Father. Prepare me, prep me. Prepare me, Father. Give me the words to say. Stir me in this season, oh God. Hallelujah. I don't want to be left behind in this revival outbreak. God, but I want to be used, Father, as a vessel of glory. I want to be used, oh God, as a mouthpiece, as an oracle. I want to be used, oh God, in this season, oh God, use me for your glory. Wherever it be, God, if it be in the back, if it be on the stage, if it be in the pew, wherever you want to use me in this season, if it be on my job, if it be in the grocery store, if it be in the marketplace, if it be in a business meeting, wherever you want to use me, Father, use me. Excuse me for a moment. Use me, Mandarabandia, say, use me, and Arabasia. Use me and it am 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 use me use me and it am use me use me and use me and use me and Oh, Mansi under the Massi. Oh, Mandia see under the Bassi. Oh, Manda Mandia. Oh, Massa Bandoya. Use me. Ishanda and the Massia. Use me. Mashikana Use me. Mandataya. Use me. This is how I pray. Use me. Use me. Use me. Use me. Use me. That's my prayer. Use me. Use me. Use me. There is a cry. Use me. 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 To another realm of seeing. Everything in my eye. That's keeping me from seeing clearly. Those, hallelujah, that you have given vision to. Oh God, open up our eyes to another level of seeing. God, open up our ears to another level of hearing. Open up our minds to another level of understanding, Father. Oh God. God, for this revival that's coming. We want to be used, Father. We want to be used, God. So as we're asking you, oh God, we ask you, God, to purify us, oh God, so that we can be used, oh God. Hallelujah. In a pure way, Father. Hallelujah. We don't want to be contaminated vessels, oh God. We don't want to be dirty vessels, Father. But use us, oh God, as clean vessels, oh God. God, clean our minds up. Oh, God, clean our hands up. Oh, God, clean our mouths up, Father. Clean our spirits up, God. Even things that we know that we weren't supposed to 
put into our spirit, that we opened our spirits up to, Father. In the name of Jesus, clean it out, unpack it, Father. In the name of Jesus, programs we know we had no business watching, oh God. Hallelujah, that was a demonic way of infiltration into our spirit, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh God, clean us out. Clean us out, oh God, clean us, clean us. Clean us, oh God, clean us, Hoshana Mancia. Clean us, God, Hoshana Riosia. Clean us, oh God, and strip us of pride, Father. In the name of Jesus, that thing in us, oh God. Hallelujah, that causes us to walk in arrogance, oh God. Pride, oh God. That thing that keeps us from saying sorry. Pride, oh God. That thing that keeps us from asking for help. Pride, oh God. That thing that keeps a log in our eyes. Pride, Father. In the name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, touch us now. Oh, God, touch us now. Get pride out of us, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So that we can be pure vessels. Get pride out of us, oh, God. In the name of Jesus. Bitterness. Oh, God, every area of bitterness in your people. Oh, shut up, I'm seeing her. Every areas of bitterness, oh God, in your people, things that we are unable to get over, Father. Hallelujah. That we're still talking about and holding in our hearts, oh God. Help us now, Father, to get over it, oh God, to no longer be bitter, but better. In the name of Jesus, and even those that are telling their stories, Father, telling it out of a place of bitterness, oh God. Purify now, God, so that the testimony is not contaminated. In the Purify now, God. Cause, uh, hallelujah, forgiveness to take place, God, uh, so that the testimony is not contaminated uh, and laced with bitterness uh, and laced, oh God. Uh, hallelujah, hallelujah, laced with all of these other things, oh God, but purify. Uh, purify, uh, purify before they ever tell the testimony, oh God. Uh, get it out of them, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus the hurt, the pain, the confusion, the questions, oh God. In the name of Jesus, you are a restorer. Restore. Restore, oh God. Hallelujah. Restore them. Touch their hearts. Give us the heart of you. Give us the heart of you, Father. The heart of you. The heart of compassion. The heart of you is what we desire, Mandoshi Kanansia. The heart of you, how you died for people that crucified you. The heart of you. As you prayed for those that crucified you, the heart of you. Every person that has been taken advantage of, every person that has been disrespected, God, every person that has done has been done wrong, oh God. Give us the heart of you, Father. The heart of you, God, Hoshana Masia. Not just on Sundays, God. Not just when we're worshiping God. Not just when we're in a good mood, Father. But when we're being persecuted, give us the heart of you. When we're the topic of discussion, God, give us the heart of you. In the name of Jesus, when we're overlooked for promotion, give us the heart of you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we want your heart, Lord. We want the heart of you, the heart of you, the heart of you, Father. We don't want to be religious, <clears throat> but we want to be representatives of you, Father, in the name of Jesus. We don't want to just go through the motions of religiosity, Father. But we want the heart of you, God. We want to be representatives of you. We want to be a demonstration of you, Father. 
Oh, Shana Namansi under the Bohosia. We want to be like you. We want to be, we desire to be like you, Father. In the name of Jesus, we desire. Hallelujah. We desire to bring kingdom to earth, Father. We desire, oh God, to be kingdom representatives. Hallelujah. That when people encounter us, they encounter you. That when people encounter us, that they encounter you, Father. Hallelujah. There are people, hallelujah, whose understanding of you is connected to their interaction with us. God, forgive us for not being good representatives in the past because of our emotions. Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive us for not being good representatives of you because we were on an off day or because we were in our feelings, oh God, but help us at all times, Father, to be a representative of you, a good representative of you, Father. In the name of Jesus, help us, Father. Help us, Father. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, oh God, hallelujah, for what you're doing in our lives, Father. We thank you for the revival that was promised, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for you, for, for, for what you're doing concerning us, oh God. And even during this consecration, as you are preparing us, as you are prepping us, hallelujah, for a new season. You are prepping us for a new season. You are prepping us, yes, God, for a new season. That you are prepping us, yes, God, for a new season. I thank you that it's closed. That when we hit January 1st, God, that the last 20 years will be closed. I thank you for closure. Oh, Shandi Okomansa. I thank you for closure. Oh, Korandi Asia. That even generational things that we have battled with, regional things that we have battled with, God, I thank you that there's going to be a wall put up in the spirit that it cannot cross over. I thank you, Father, for the closure. I thank you for the closure. Oh my siki anamanso konandiasia. I thank you for closure. Oh randiasi andarabo sekeri asiki andaraba sataya rabandi oshia. Era labandi oshanda lamandiasi andaraba haya. I thank you for closure. Ko shekan saban so ko tabansai. I thank you for closure. I hear this word so strong in my spirit. Ashley Cobbs, the spirit of the Lord says, hallelujah, that this is your season for closure. For the enemy has tried to keep you in cycle after cycle. But the Lord says that as you cross over into January 1st, that you're getting ready to walk out of a delayed place, I hear the Lord say. That as you cross over next year into 2020, you are getting ready to walk out of a delayed place. The enemy has desired uh, to delay you the last seven years. But the Lord says that as you get ready to cross over, there's new ministry opportunities that's about to come forth for you. I see you preaching. I see the Lord you 
using you in a mighty way. Oh, concerning this revival, the Lord says that you have, oh, you have a different way of ministry. And I see ministry all over you. Oh, for 2020, the Lord is going to use you in a mighty way. Oh, I thank you, Father. Oh, I thank you, oh God. Hallelujah for what you're doing in this season. For what you're doing in this season, that is closed, that there are certain chapters, Father, in the name of Jesus that's closing now. Hallelujah. That even where the enemy has been on our trail and trying to keep us in places that you have delivered us from, I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus, that he no longer has access. That access is being denied. I thank you, Mandela Vidio Sandala Mahaya. I thank you, O God. I pray in the spirit for a moment. O Koshanda Rabasiki and the Rabandi O Sokorandi Asia. Rekatabanso, come on, pray. I canana Mansia, my shekeridio son de la Bahaya. O Shanda Rabasi and the Rabahosia. Korata Mansi and the Rabahaya. In Anabanso Korandi Asia. That's not just for Ashley. Oh, but the enemy has desired to keep many of us in a delayed place. Oh, a delayed place, a place of delay. Oh, to keep us backwards. Oh, to keep us from. It's like it's like moving forward backwards. Oh, So no matter how many steps you take forward, you're still behind. Oh, Hallelujah. But the, the delayed place is is coming to an end. I mean, I see like a door being slammed shut. Oh, Almost like a wall coming together like this and it's being sealed. There is a ceiling that's about to happen. There's a seal. God's about to seal this thing. And even where the enemy has had access in the past, he will no longer have access. Because God is about to seal it. There's about to be a wall between it and you. Them and you. That and it's gonna be a see-through wall that they'll be able to see you but can't touch you. Oh There's about to be a wall put up, my shakamansia, as you cross over, hallelujah, where they will see you but can't touch you, uh, see you but can't reach you, uh, see you but can't speak to you. Uh, that thing that once delayed you, that demonic delay, uh, it will be able to see the flourish. That God's about to put on your life, the anointing to flourish. Hallelujah. The oil to flow and flourish, but it won't be able to touch you. Oh God, I thank you for the ceiling. How you're about to seal this thing. How you're about to seal this thing. How you're about to seal this thing. Oh, Shandaramansia. How you're about to seal this thing. Koshandarabasia. How you're about to seal this thing. Oh, Shandaramansia. Ha ha. The enemy's going to have to sit in the audience and watch you on stage. Oh, Shandarabasia. Oh, my see under the Bohosia, the naysayers are going to have to sit in the audience and watch you on stage. Oh, Shanda Ramasia. Korandiasi under the Bohosia. Those that tried to sabotage you will have to buy a ticket to your movie. Oh, Shanda Ramasia. God's about to seal it. The thing that you cried about, you're not going to cry about any longer. Ye can't unsold. 
I said, the thing that you cried about, you're not going to cry about any longer because it's about to be sealed. It's going to be sealed. It's going to be sealed. It's going to be sealed. Oh, I'm excited. It's going to be sealed. It's going to, I cannot get that word out of my spirit. Sealed. going to be sealed. No access. No access. No access. No access. I thank you, Lord. The word seal means to be closed securely. To be closed securely. To be closed securely. God, I thank you now. Oshanda Ravandi Osaya. That is going to be securely closed. No more infiltrations. No more infiltrations. No more infiltrations. No more infiltrations. But I thank you, God. Hallelujah. I thank you for this healing. I thank you for this revival. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I give you the praise. And I count it as done. Um, we're on 21 days of consecration. So we will be doing prayer on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We'll be here Tuesdays and Thursdays at noon in prayer. Um, I just put up the Glam Mentorship 2. Um, this Glam Mentorship 2 is on activation. So if you're looking to take an Activate course, um, you want to uh, go to the website, www.glamempowerment.com and register for that. It's a five-week Activate course with me and a few other people. Um, and it's going to be very powerful. Um, I think that going into the new year, I think you want to be stirred. And the best way to get stirred is to do um, an Activate course. Um, so um, I'm putting that on the screen now and I'm pinning it. Pinning it now, trying to pin it at least. Um, here we go. Um, and so, you know, even if you didn't take the mentorship one, I will allow everyone to do the mentorship two, simply because it's um, not going to be any content that was covered in one. It's going to be um, straight on activating the supernatural. Um, so that's uh, going to begin the first week of January. So you want to register now. We only have a certain amount of slots. So um, definitely go ahead and uh, register for that. Um, and I will see you all on Thursday at noon for prayer. Um, if you're looking for the consecration, um, you want to go to the website as well. And the, the instructions for the consecration are there as well. God bless you. Go in peace.